Wow, collecting plastic. Great move. Keep it up. Proud of you. Hey, what's up, Funkheads? I haven't opened up any pops on my channel in a while, and a few boxes accumulated on me, so I have a pretty big haul to show you. I mostly do all my pop shopping online now. I used to run around and hunt at the stores, but now I just don't have enough time to do that. Just not a big fan of wasting a quarter tank of gas and half a day trying to find the pops that I want, especially if they're common pops that I can just get from anywhere, online, and most of the time, cheaper. Of course, Comic-Con days are different, you know the pops are going to be at the stores, and it's more of an event, so I will go out for those, but I say about 95% of my pop shopping now is online, especially because shipping practices have gotten a lot better. About four or five years ago, online pop shopping was a nightmare because most companies did not realize that the Funko Pops were collectibles, and they thought that the boxes didn't matter. They thought the boxes were thrown away, so you'd rarely get a mint box in the mail. It's a whole different story now, with most retailers figuring it out that if they want repeat customers, they better send mint boxes. This time I have two from the Funko shop, a couple of packages from hottopic.com, one from a fellow YouTuber, and one from eBay. I'm gonna start out with the one from a fellow YouTuber, and that is Franklin McGinnis. You guys probably know him from Funko News, of course. He has a bunch of other types of videos on his channel as well. But yeah, um, I befriended Franklin when we both had under a thousand subscribers a long time ago. And uh, yeah, he's become a really good friend and I'm happy that his channel has blown up the way it has. He always has great information um, before anybody else. Um, he is the best at the Funko News. All right, so I believe this is from ECCC. Uh, we traded Pops. Um, I think I got the better end of the bargain. If I remember correctly. And from Masters of the Universe, this is Buzz Off. And I believe he was shared with a store that I don't have near me. I think FYE. And uh, Franklin was able to secure me one. Really awesome. He sent it in a pop protector. Totally, totally perfect. And yeah, this guy is awesome. He has like translucent yellow wings. Like a metallic kind of green for the eyes. Really like the bizarre characters and Masters of the Universe is about as bizarre and colorful as it gets. Let me see how much this guy is worth now. So he is valued at $37 now. And the pop I sent him, Classic Thor, is valued at $31. So actually it turned out to be a pretty even trade. I didn't think that the Classic Thor would go up to $30, bucks, but it did. So that's awesome. I feel less guilty now. Thanks again, Franklin. Now this one is from Hot Topic, um, they've never really sent something in a bag before, but it is in, um, the cardboard boxes underneath, so hopefully they're okay. So this first one is the Patina Stan Lee. This is actually the only Stan Lee I have now. I had never been able to get my hands on one, and this one is actually pretty perfect for the collection. I actually like that they have the gold stamping on the box. And the patina looks really good at mine. Something about the patina pops is that a lot of them um, are kind of unique. The patina isn't always the same on all of them. Some of them have a lot more green. Some of them have a lot more of the bronze color. But this one seems to have a pretty good mix. And yeah, even though it was in a bag, these uh, sorter boxes keep them pretty safe. And yeah, he's in really, really good condition. And this one is the Mermaid Betty Boop. And I really like how she looks as well. I have a few of these now. I have, let's see, I think I have a nurse one. I have the Devil. I have the Angel, the Mermaid. I don't think I have the Sock Hop one. That's one I want. And I believe I have the nurse one as well. Or did I already say that? But yeah, this one looks pretty good. The actual mermaid tail looks to be like a semi-metallic. Same with one of those starfish on there. That's a nice little touch. Yeah, these Betty Boop ones look pretty good. All right, this big one is also from Hot Topic. And here's the 40th anniversary 
of Alien Ripley in the spacesuit from the very first Alien movie. And in the pictures, the spacesuit looked pretty plain, but it looks to have a lot of detail and like a wash of gray over it, which makes it look a little nicer and makes, you know, the sculpt and the detail kind of pop a little bit. Yeah, pretty cool. I like this one. I don't have very many UFC pops, but I do remember really liking George St. Pierre, and I do like this um, version of him. Looks really good. Box is in perfect condition. So yeah, this is why I don't, you know, go out to the stores as much anymore because, you know, sometimes in the store the boxes are in worse condition because they're actually handled by a lot of people. Um, this is about as mint as it gets. I would have collected all of the Sour Patch Kids, but um, since the green one is only a thousand pieces, I decided I'm just going to get one. It's either get one, you know, my favorite flavor, blue, or get none of them because I can't complete the set. Because it would be nice to have them all together, but I think one is fine. And yeah, it really does look like he has like the salty kind of sugar on him. I would have preferred the eyes just to be blue, like the actual Sour Patch Kid. Um, keep them round and like the Popeyes, but just blue. I think that would have been a lot better than the black. But it's still pretty cool. The Overwatch Pops are some of my favorite ones. Really, really great details. And this is Tracer. This is a Hot Topic exclusive. Hot Topic is pretty good about... Um, putting a nice amount of their stock, um, of their Hot Topic exclusive stock online. So usually not that hard to get. There's been a few like, you know, that Homer and the Moo Moo that sell out pretty quick, but I do remember seeing it a couple of times on the, on the shop. So it's not like it went up and sold out in a minute. Um, if you really wanted it, you could have got it. Um, if you would have just checked often. But yeah, it's not so hard. They are the best, you know, Funko Pop retailer. And here's the Devil Betty Boop. I knew I had ordered it. I just couldn't remember if I had opened it yet. But here it is. And it looks like they did different backgrounds. Which I really like. I love that they did different box art. Sometimes um, if there's a series of a character, the box art is all the same. But looks like the Betty Boop ones have different box art, which is a nice touch. Yeah, really cool. Alright, this one is from eBay. I think it's a pop. It's either a pop or um, bird toys for my parrot. Um, we'll see. Okay, so it is a pop from, I guess, Fumble Pop is their uh, store name. So they packaged it well, and this is also in about as mint condition as can be. This is Post Malone. Really liking this pop. Love all those little details, all the tattoos. Looks good. I really hope that Funko continues to make um, some new artists. I know that the classics are great, you know, Jimi Hendrix, Prince, and all that, but some new artists is pretty awesome, you know, just to mix it up a little bit. And unfortunately, he's got a red cup instead of an actual beer. I want to say that the picture that this is um, modeled after, he's actually holding. Um, a beer and not a red cup, but you know, I guess you get the message. I also want to say that don't be afraid to buy from eBay. I know a lot of people think that eBay is just for flippers. It's where you go to get ripped off, but not really. There's actually a lot of retailers or just kind of like small time pop sellers that are actually selling pops for like 10 bucks with free shipping. So look around, check out the reviews. They don't have to have a lot of reviews. If they got a dozen positive reviews with zero negative ones, pretty safe to order from them, especially if the price is right. All right, and finally, we got some from the Funko Shop. And this is a spastic plastic character. This is Chet. Looks pretty cool. This is going to look great next to my Amazing Carlos pop because Amazing Carlos looks like a race car driver. 
And this guy is holding a checkered flag. Wish he was holding it on this side so you can see it when it's in the box. But yeah, pretty cool. Really like the spastic plastic characters. And here is another... I, actually... Yeah, this is spastic plastic. And if you notice, it still says spastic plastic on these boxes. Even though I heard a while ago now... Um, way before these ones came out, that they were going to change the name to Fantastic Plastic. Because I think spastic means like retarded or something in England. So they wanted to change that up. And from the looks of this, I wouldn't be surprised if a glow-in-the-dark variation comes out. Because this already kind of looks like the skull is glow-in-the-dark. That would be cool. This is TJ. Um, I believe this came out a little bit after Cinco de Mayo around that time. And yeah, it's really cool. I'm going to take them out to take a closer look. So this is definitely one of my favorite pops now. I love that he's holding, let's just call it a bottle of tequila. And man, this guy is really heavy. It feels like the head is freaking solid. Like, or at least this hat is because a lot of pops, um, the head is pretty hollow and they feel pretty light. But this thing feels very, very solid and heavy. Oh yeah, I like the boots. With the tips on there. The bone hand looks really good. The bullet belts. Yeah, they did a really, really good job on this pop. And, you know, I hope they make some more, like... And not just of Mexico. It'd be nice to see you know, some Canadian pops or, you know, some European countries or some Asian countries, some African countries. Um, Not so much with, you know, famous people from there, but, you know, something about their culture like this. You know, obviously the Day of the Dead is from Mexico and uh, this style of clothing. So I would like to see more of that. Really, really cool. And here's another Ripley. This is the Funko Shop exclusive Ripley where she's holding Jonesy the cat. And it is the cooler one. If I had to pick just one of these two, it would be this one. Love the pops I have, like a little buddy like that. And yeah, the cat came out really good. All in all, I got 12 pops that I'm very happy with. And as you can see, every single one of these was in mint condition. And took me all of, I don't know, 30 minutes to order. Just imagine having to drive around to try to find all these pops. Of course, some of them like TJ or Ripley holding Jonesy aren't available in stores and you have to order those online. But let's just say I wanted a Blue Sour Patch Kid, a George St. Pierre, a Post Malone, and a Devil Betty Boop. Four common pops that are available now. There's no way I'd be able to drive to just one or two or even three stores to find all four of those and also find mint condition boxes. I'd probably end up wasting hours and not even finding them all and just be generally annoyed. And plus I like the thought of having pops that were put in the boxes at the factory, sent out to the stores, and probably just handled by one or two warehouse people and shipping receiving people. I always feel like the pops at Target, for example, are just handled by dozens and dozens of people. And who knows, it, they could have been scratching their asses or something and touching them, or it could be kids with their fingers in their mouths. You just never know. So that's why you don't see too many pop hunt videos on my channel. All right, guys, let me know in the comments below what you've recently added to your collection, if you have any of these. If you're able to get that TJ, because this one actually sold out, a lot of the spastic plastic characters haven't been selling out, which isn't a bad thing, but this TJ actually did sell out. Which makes me hope that Funko gets the picture and makes more kind of culturally significant characters like that. Also, let me know what your experience ordering online has been and what your experience has been hunting at stores. All right, guys. Thanks for watching and have a good one.